On April 12, 1864, 3,000 Confederate soldiers under the command of Nathan Bedford Forrest, the future creator of the Ku Klux Klan, overran Fort Pillow, a former Confederate stronghold situated on a bluff on the Tennessee bank of the Mississippi River, 40 miles north of Memphis, Tennessee. The garrison consisted of 600 Union soldiers, being about two-thirds African American. Under a flag of truce, which his men violated by creeping up on the fort, Forrest demanded the garrison surrender, threatening that if he refused, he would not be responsible for the actions of his men. Believing Forrest was bluffing, the Union's William Bradford refused, and the Confederates swarmed the fort. The overwhelmed garrison fled down the bluff to the river, where they were caught in a deadly crossfire. Forrest's men continued to shoot well after the Union had thrown down their weapons, with many lit on fire in hospital tents or shot as they begged for mercy. By the next morning, only 65 blacks had survived the massacre that had continued throughout the night. More than 70% of the white survivors would perish in rebel prisons. No blacks were taken as prisoner. The Confederates lost 18 men, while 221 Union soldiers were killed and 130 injured. The Union seized on the massacre to inflame wavering Northern opinions. Forrest described the river as, quote, died with the blood of the slaughtered for 200 yards, unquote, and his field commander bragged that his men had taught the mongrel garrison a memorable lesson.